Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wayslam reviewer, and I'm here to review The Lost Daughter, and this is the directorial debut from Maggie Gyllenhaal, who also co-wrote the script for this film, and this focuses on a woman who's on vacation, played by Olivia Colman, who gets connected with this family, including a young mother, who you could definitely tell is struggling with her whole situation, her husband seems sketchy as hell, and... Coleman's remembering back to when she was younger, struggling with her own duties as a mother. And I think Hall is able to craft a beautiful looking film, really able to capture the Greek landscape and setting of this film. And there's just something about how the film plays out, feels a bit muddled. And it cuts back and forth between these flashbacks, and it does it in not the smoothest way and it doesn't necessarily feel like they're picking up the same momentum and pacing as it keeps cutting back and forth you I felt so much more connected and intrigued by what's going on in the modern times and you'd cut back and not to say what was going on in the flashbacks wasn't as in well it wasn't interesting it just definitely wasn't as interesting and there's definitely moments that felt like if they just sprinkled in some of those scenes, it would have been more effective, but it goes at length about this whole backstory, and a lot of the times it feels like it's pulling away from the main story, and this is a slightly over two-hour film. It even feels like it could have been a little tightened a bit, but there's definitely a tension and suspense throughout the film that builds up from really awkward and uncomfortable human interactions, and Gyllenhaal is able to capture that very well. And, like I said, there's some clunkiness to how the flashbacks are utilized, and how often they're utilized, and how long you stay there. And, and to be honest, there's some extra characters and threads that felt like maybe they really need to be in the film or focused on as much, there's Ed Harris, who, Ed Harris is great, and I guess he has a specific purpose in the film, but honestly, the film felt like it could have been perfectly fine without that aspect, and you could have picked up on what that character's inclusion was supposed to say from other things in the film as well. And in terms of what this film was trying to get at, what some of the characters' purposes were. Sometimes it feels a bit muddled. And definitely, there's things that are alluded to throughout the film that you're just kind of like, why? Like, why is this particular focus being put on this character at this moment? But the biggest thing about this film is Olivia Coleman gives an amazing performance. She's committed she is intense. There's one scene where she's at a movie and a bunch of little teenagers are being a bunch of assholes. And you can feel the emotion boiling up inside her. Olivia Colman's one of the best actresses working today. And this film shows that. Definitely. And Leda, her character, is complex and powerful. She represents something very interesting and challenging when it comes to the themes of motherhood. And this is something that films don't really focus on a whole lot, which I appreciate about this film, that it was comfortable enough to try to hone in on. Not everybody is wired to be a mother. And I feel like there's a lot in our society where it's like, if you're not motherly or you don't want to be a mother, you're less of a woman. And similar, there's things about men that you don't do certain things. It's like you're less of a man. And I think this film focuses on and hone in hone ins on those tricky things that our society has as perspective on, but showing that not everybody should want to do this, is cut out for this. And Coleman's character kind of represents that. And she also has very interesting uh, idiosyncrasies that make this character so interesting to watch and her interactions with characters and also makes her frustrating as an audience member trying to connect with her but it's in a way that builds the film and this character and not like pushing the audience away 
And in general, you have two strong supporting roles from like Jesse Buckley plays Olivia Coleman when she was younger, and she does a great job in those scenes. And Dakota Johnson gives a very interesting and vulnerable and like close to the chest performance is like she's trying to hold a lot in and you can see Coleman's doing the same and in many ways they might be on the same page and this film in general hits hard emotionally it leaves you in a specific place at the end where you're a bit shaken and have a lot to process and I feel like this film has a lot to provide even if it's not the most clean and well structured and well executed film but Hall shows a lot of promise here and I'm definitely interested to see what she has next but I would definitely recommend this one it's streaming now on Netflix but those are my thoughts on The Lost Daughter let me know what you think and let's talk some movies but thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer